Hello, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Lapid. I am the U.S. Director of Sales and Marketing for NoBrow and Flying Eye Books. And uh, I'm here today to talk to you about our uh, upcoming graphic novels for the fall 2021 span. So thank you for joining us at LibraryCon, and thank you for checking out this video. Our first title we'll be talking about today is The Adventures of Team Palm Squid Happens by Isabel Rojas. Uh, this came out in June uh, earlier this year. Um, so this is the debut graphic novel from Isabel Rojas. She is a Filipino illustrator and cartoonist currently based in Queens, New York. This is the story of three misfits, Agnes, Roberta, and Ruby, who discover a shared passion for synchronized swimming. They decide to form their own synchronized swimming team in order to get the respect that they know they deserve. One day before practice, they discover that a giant squid is living in the community pool. So they, uh, they befriend this uh, fellow outcast and he becomes the newest member of their team. Uh, it's a really fun middle grade graphic novel. It's perfect for kids who like stories about underdogs and kids who enjoy a lot of uh, absurd humor. Uh, Isabel's art is colorful and dynamic and she's got a great sense of comedic timing. Um, so a fun fact about this book, uh, Isabel uh, is living in Astoria, Queens, um, and a lot of the locations in this book are actually based on real life spots uh, in Isabel's neighborhood. Uh, the Adventures of Team Palm, Squid Happens, is a graphic novel for anyone who's ever felt like they don't fit in. It's about being yourself, it's about teamwork, and it's about all the weird friends you'll make along the way. Our next book is Kai and the Monkey King by Joe Todd Stanton. This is the paperback edition of the third book in the Brownstones Mythical Collection series. Uh, to refresh your memories, uh, the Brownstones Mythical Collection series is about a family of explorers. Each book follows a different member of the Brownstone family from a different generation on an adventure through uh, different mythologies around the world. Uh, this one follows uh, Kai Brownstone as she finds herself on, advent on an adventure through uh, Chinese mythology guided by the mischievous Monkey King. Uh, it's a fun way to introduce kids to the world of Chinese mythology. And Joe Todd Stanton's art is really colorful and expressive. It's crammed with a lot of fun details and nods to symbols and characters from Chinese mythology. Uh, Brownstone's mythical collection uh, is really starting to find its audience in the US and Canada. And we picked up a lot of great reviews for the books. Uh, the series will be continuing in spring of 2022 with uh, Leo and the Gorgon's Curse, which will be all about Greek mythology. Uh, so this is Kai and the Monkey King, um, and it is available in August of 2021. Our next book is Hikotea. This is the paperback edition of Hikotea by Colombian cartoonist Lorena Alvarez. Hikotea is the sequel to Lorena's debut graphic novel, Nightlights, which is one of our best-selling titles. Uh, Sandy, the protagonist from Nightlights, returns in this psychedelic middle grade graphic novel. On a school field trip, Sandy wanders off and discovers an empty turtle shell. When she takes a peek inside, she finds herself transported to a magical realm filled with beautiful sculptures, paintings, and books. As the inhabitants of this place show her around, Sandy learns that this beautiful dimension is being threatened and only she will be able to stop it as long as she asks the right questions. This is an exciting graphic novel adventure that is all about the importance of being creative and curious. Lorena's beautiful art is the star of the show here. Each page is really vibrant and colorful with a clear Latin American influence showing through in Lorena's aesthetics. It's a real showcase for Lorena's talent of creating entire magical worlds. Hikateo will be on sale in August of 2021. Our next book is Mason Mooney, Doppelganger Detective by Sierra Miller. Our favorite paranormal investigator returns in this sequel to last year's Mason Mooney Paranormal Investigator. This is the second graphic novel by Sierra Miller and will have a third on the way in the fall of 2022. A uh, quick refresher, Mason Mooney is a teenage paranormal investigator in the small town of Grimbrook. Everyone thinks he's kind of a jerk, but he just wants to prove to everyone that he's the best. So he and his trusty assistant and only friend, Iris, investigate any paranormal phenomena that pops up in Grimbrook. 
Unfortunately, they're frequently upstaged by the Paranormal Society, a group of very hip, very popular teenage paranormal investigators. Doppelganger detective finds Mason and Iris investigating a haunted mirror on the night of Grimbrook, Grimbrook's uh, big Halloween dance. When the Paranormal Society shows up on the scene as well, things get out of hand and the haunted mirror awakens and unleashes doppelgangers of Mason, Iris, and the Paranormal Society out into the world. It's a middle grade graphic novel filled with spooky humor and teenage drama. Doppelganger Detective has more mystery, more magic, and a shocking kiss that's going to shake things up for Grimbrook's teenage paranormal investigator community. Mason Mooney Doppelganger Detective will be out in September 2021. Uh, Sierra is based in Portland, Oregon, and we are coordinating a launch event with a local Portland comics shop, uh, Books with Pictures. So keep an eye out for that in September, 2021. Our next book is the debut graphic novel from Seattle-based illustrator, Lara Kamenov. This is How to Pick a Fight. How to Pick a Fight is the story of Jimmy Ruckus, a scrappy little guy with big dreams of becoming a champion pro wrestler in the big city. He decides to leave his home and follow his dreams. Along the way, he meets fellow fighters, escaped circus animals, painters, and pirates. Uh, all with something to say that will challenge Jimmy's idea of success and force him to decide whether living his life fist first is all it's cracked up to be. Lara's art is really kinetic and fluid, filled with a lot of dynamic action and memorable character designs. It's perfect for all the action as well as the emotional journey at the center of the story. How to Pick a Fight is a fractured fable about believing in yourself no matter what, even if it means you get into some scraps along the way. How to Pick a Fight is on sale in October 2021. We are planning a launch event with Elliott Bay Book Company in Seattle. The last book I will be presenting today is Hilda the Wilderness Stories by Luke Pearson. Uh, it's going to be coming out from us in November 2021. Uh, this is a deluxe hardcover treasury edition that collects the first two books of our best selling Hilda graphic novel series, Hilda and the Troll and Hilda and the Midnight Giant. Uh, Hilda's popularity has grown quickly since the debut of the Netflix animated series based on the graphic novels. Uh, Hilda and the Troll and Hilda and the Midnight Giant are frequently among our top selling titles each month. So we've collected the two in a beautiful new treasury edition. This volume will feature a new cover from Luke Pearson, behind the scenes sketches, and a never before published comic featuring the popular Woodman Hilda's grumpy neighbor in the forest. We will be letting the hardcover editions of the Hilda graphic novels run out of print, and in the coming years, we will be replacing them with these deluxe treasury editions, collecting two volumes at a time. Paperback editions of each of the individual books in the graphic novel series will remain in print. Hilda the Wilderness Stories will be available in November 2021. We will be advertising it in a few winter holiday catalogs, including uh, the catalogs for GLIBA, MIBA, NAIBA, NEIBA, SIBA, CALIBA, and PNBA, or Gleba, Meba, Neba, Neba, Siba, Kaliba, and Pnba. Um, so that's uh, Hilda and the Wilderness Stories. It's uh, going to be coming out in November 2021. Uh, and that is uh, my last title. So thank you very much. So those were all of our graphic novel titles for the fall 2021 span. Um, if there is, uh, if there were any titles that you'd like to know more about, um, please feel free to send me an email. Um, I'm Jeff at nobrow.net. That's a G E O F F at nobrow.net. Um, I'm happy to provide you with uh, sample PDFs, uh, sample images, uh, and I can send over physical copies of any of the titles. Um, as soon as we get them in stock at the warehouse. Um, so please uh, be in touch with me if uh, you've got any questions or if you uh, would like any more information. Um, thank you very much for checking out the video and have a good uh, rest of your uh, time at LibraryCon. Thank you.